Hello. So we are back Tuesday. And we have a job like last week. You remember last week? So what do we have here? We have an iPhone 8. Yes. And the problem with this one. But this time it's iPhone 8. Last week I think was iPhone 6s. The one with no picture and no, no backlight. And this is the same. So it's charging 1.5, 2.1 amps, which is a lot. This is iPhone 8 Plus. So originally phone came in with a broken screen, no picture, but sound. So phone was on. Change the screen, still same issue. Then unplug the battery, plug back in and then the phone displays gauge to customer she come back today with same issue phone it's on but no display try third different screens yeah three different screens so looks like here we have a problem with uh, no picture no backlight yeah If you remember I told you, even if you don't have backlight, you should have picture. And just clean the screen and check closely to see if you see any. So the phone just vibrates, so I suppose it's coming on. Yes, I can feel the, the vibration. How can I do it? No, you can't hear anyway. So the phone is on right now, but it's absolutely no picture and no backlight. No picture and no backlight. Let me give Diana a quick so she can open. Diana, the board can be only from. Uh, you remember the the. Uh, what's the name of that ch ch chestnut chestnut chip yeah which is a driver of the screen but also it powering up the backlight chip yeah so it has a truck straight to the backlight I see and it's powering up the backlight so if you have no picture you'll have no backlight yeah so we'll see we'll see let's try and fix it a plus is not an old phone. It's quite a good one. 4K 60 frames per second. You know the recording. That's good. Also is the... Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Also the is the last phone with home button. So that's the reason why I didn't upgrade my phone. Because I can't do like that. Just to the phone can be unlocked by the by the face recognition. So it's the last phone where actually I can press the power the home button in the screen. I can read the whatever is on the screen, or I can access the phone. Sorry, if I, I can access the phone without taking the phone from the table. That was the point when I stopped buying iPhones. When they took out the, the the home button, I seen yesterday the launch of iPhone uh, 11 Pro. Impressing, I can't say anything. It's impressing, but no home button. So it's not for me. Let's just wait for Diana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Giovanni. Ti voglio essere schiavo, ma sei schiavo. Ah, si. Sì. Yeah, our Discord server got quite busy in the last uh, period of time. So the board is out. The board is untouched. Yeah. The problem is I have no schematic. On well, these kind of cases, the schematic is good, especially on the Apple products. So let's try to open our board view. Not board view, sorry, phone board software. Phone board software. Yeah. Phones, iPhone, A plus. Only one A plus, okay. Now let's see where, where that chip can be. I don't even know where is the position of that chip. It's on the back, it's on the front. Okay, this probably is related with uh, with the signal. Even this one. So you think it's not on this side? Probably not. Let's check on the other side. This is the other side of the board. I think it's more easy to take the cover and, uh, and check. But I can't see anything here. Like, where that chip can be. Maybe here. I never faced uh, this kind of problem on iPhone 8 Plus. But this is kind of new. But like how you can see a lot of phones this come with this issue. Like we have last week the 6s. And this week we have the A plus. It looks like it's quite a common fault. And obviously if it's not a water damage drop, you don't think it's like a capacitor. Let's have a look under the microscope here. Yeah? Let's see what we have here. And I believe all the goodies are here. So I suppose are two back like I see here, and that's our uh, our driver. I think. I think. Pi seven nine. 
Oh no, the other one is six five seven three zero. No TI, yeah, TI seven nine. Let's have a look quick on Google. TI. The keyboard is not working for some reason. TI seven nine. Seven nine six. Yeah, what's this? Chief, I see. Hmm, I can't find anything with this name. So let's try the other one. Six five six five seven three zero. Okay, this is a display driver. Huh? So I believe it's, it's quite cheap, like one point. One pound seventy. This is a it's a very cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. So that's what I want to replace today. Let's replace this chip. Hmm. Because I believe I strongly believe the problem is from here. So same on the on the big phone screens like six plus like six s plus we have two backlight ICs two coils but it's one driver yeah let's replace the driver if we can. a big tweezer can huh? someone gave me a link on my tools video with some nice uh, teaser tweezers yeah but I haven't checked yet but I really need better tweezers So let's see the chip position. Okay. Let's use. You know what? I will not use the fake flux. I will use my flux. You know, I will call a phonium with. With. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. So let's stop using the fake flux. flux. Let me grab a small nozzle. I can't get out of the old nozzle. So what's wrong with this? The the hot air thingy. Well oh, this is sick, I can't take it out. Why this is happening exactly when I do a video? Why this didn't happen before? So I never had a problem like that. I 
this is crazy. So actually, I can't take this out. The screw is open. No way, no way. It's like stuck, it's stuck there. Okay, let's use some uh, petrol. Maybe it's working. Finally, finally. Yeah, you see, we petrol, we fix everything. We zip up petrol. <laughs> and now this is moving too freely because I put petrol. That's crazy. Uh, let's burn the petrol first. <laughs> This is awkward, you know, my nozzle is broken. Actually, I have no screw here, so it's moving freely. I see now. Yeah, should, should be fine, should work fine. So we need like 360 degrees, yeah, 360, bit of air, let's try and remove that chip. It's here. And my hand is shaking and the board is moving the chip position like that okay so what we messed up here that coil yeah the coil is normal that cap is okay. Let's clean the, the solder bolts. Let me use my fake flux. Okay. Let's clean the solder bolts. And after that, let's get another chip. We do have another board for spares, which is fantastic. The problem is the board is moving, so I really need to hold that board on place. Oh, that's great. My cigarette is doing the is doing the job. My electronic cigarette. Let's try with two, 220 degrees. 
just to help the solder iron. That's great, that's fantastic, let's clean. Give me one second. Okay, let's clean that. I said let's clean it, not because it's something to clean. I don't know what's this black thingy. When you have the like solder and flux, what do you want to clean? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get a new chip. We do have a board somewhere. If I can find it, we yeah, found it. So we can get a new chip. Not new, second hand. Which I trust a lot more the second hand chip compared with a brand new one. And this is iPhone 8, it's not 8 plus board. So hopefully the chip is the same. Yeah, that's the one, yeah? It is the same. PI... Uh, no, 65730. 65730, so the chip is the same. All what we have to do is to take the chip out and move the chip on the other board. Three eighty. Now, from what I read on the comments, a lot of people going crazy with not rebooling a chip. Well, you just you have to think the chip is out and it's out perfectly. Yeah, you'll get zero advantage and uh, the job will be very long. So actually you want to reboil to make the soldering job easier. The chip is here. Let's use some flux. I will use my flux, you know. I'll use my flux. Okay. Okay, let's use my cigarette to keep the board on place. Good. Chip position. Like that. I want to see the... Good. So let's solder this chip back. Okay, the chip is on the position. The chip is soldered. So all what we have left is to check if that was the problem. You can't really check a chip if it's burned or not. Just you can do it only by replacing the chip. 
because the chip has a lot of components inside like a lot of transistors okay. let me get the the case on the battery on the screen So we'll check first, and after that we'll clean and I don't know, we'll clean and we'll put all back together. All I want to see if it's indeed now it's working fine, and we have picture. Which probably will work because that's the issue with that chip. That chip is dying from some reason. It should be related with the new screen because uh, the people from the other shop they say they replace the screen. Or well, can be. Yeah, let's plug the new screen. Good. Let's part of the phone. One amp, and we have the charging sign on the screen, but probably you can't see. Now we have picture, and everything is fine. Two amps charging current, which is perfect. Yeah, the 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 top camera cable is not plugged in, so that's where you have where you have low brightness. Well, everything is fine, yeah. Everything is working how it's supposed to. It's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you have to replace, if. If probably any iPhone has no backlight and no picture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know it's boring. I know. Well, see, maybe next time, next job, we have a few more jobs here. Maybe I can find something more exciting. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you later, yeah? Bye.